hi everybody welcome to my channel please do make sure that you are subscribed to this channel like the video as well and watch some adverts so listen you guys something is going on here okay R. Kelly. okay i guess you know the universe is not done with him because his daughter is coming out to talk about how he asked her as well okay i've always wondered you guys because one thing about edophiles is that they will start by a being their family members if they have access to the kids in the in the family they will do that to them before they even go out and do it to other kids so i've always wondered how uh R. Kelly's kids escaped that because nothing had ever been said about them being the victims now, you guys, remember, uh, Arkeli was married to this woman who is a dancer and a choreographer, who Andrea, not the ex-wife. There was once a reality show that she did. This reality show, was, the cast was celebrities uh, or Hollywood stars' first wives. They had Andrea was Hercules, um ex. There was uh, Will Smith's uh, first wife. There was Kevin Hart's first wife. Uh, there was Eddie Murphy's uh, first wife. I think Prince's first wife as well. But the concept was the wives that were with the celebrities before the celebrities were Big. And then when the celebrities got big, they went and married someone else. So those wives came together and did this reality show. And one thing I can tell you, because I've been watching reality TV shows for a long time, was that Andrea Ubenga Funingo R. Kelly on that show, you know, she would deny any kind of uh, accusations or allegations when it comes to R. Kelly. In fact, she would be very, very offended when people would ask her about some of the things that R. Kelly had been accused of. This is before uh, R, uh, the R. Kelly, the surviving R. Kelly documentary. It's long ago, okay? This was before the documentary. This is, this is before the Me Too movement, okay? I remember one of the cast members even asked her about the golden shower situation. Would see, is it true? Because remember, there was a golden shower thing, okay? And she was so offended by that. How can you even dare to ask me something like that? Okay? Andrea, the ex-wife, who is supposed to be this girl's mother? Now, came the Me Too movement, okay? Then uh, R. Kelly situation came up and then he got arrested. There was a surviving R. Kelly situation. All of that, the documentary uh, also came out. Then after that, she, Andrea, the mother, uh, started changing. Because even in interviews, guys, there are interviews on the internet where this woman is denying any kind of uh, allegations when it comes to R. Kelly, Okay. Arkeri uh, was a good guy. Arkeri was a good father, you know. Then after all of these women came out, then she, uh, st she started changing and saying it happened to her too. She also was a bead and all of that, okay? Which I believed because I never understood why she defended him like that. There were other people in the documentary that said they had seen him do things to her. Only after that she came out to say yes, even she was. She, she, she also did the me too on the R. Kelly. And I was like, this one. Now, here's the thing that I didn't understand. It was like, if a person, if you've seen somebody aping people outside of your units, like, you know, he has done things, funny things there. Ne? And then he also does things to you. But you still think your kids are safe with him. That's the part I don't understand about that ex-wife. 
Anyway, you guys, so let's read this story because I thought that it was going to come to Netflix. Okay, apparently it's not on Netflix. Maybe it will come eventually, but I, you know, I haven't watched it. So I just read this article, so I'll read it for you. As to what the daughter is now claiming. Okay, am I shocked? Not. I'm not shocked, but I wish that the possibilities of it never happening to the kids became true. You know. Even though for me, in my mind, I've always thought, I wonder if the kids are not just keeping quiet, but something happened to them. So, uh, her name is Buku Abi, okay, or Buku Abi. Alleges that Father Arkeli, S E X A B, her as a child in a new documentary. Okay. Abby, also known as Joanne Kelly, has alleged, has alleged that her father, the R&B singer R. Kelly, uh, S-E-X-A-B, her as a child in a documentary. For a long time, I did not even want to believe that it happened. A tearful Abby uh, says in R. Kelly's Karma, that's the name of a documentary. A Daughter's Journey, now streaming on TVEI. I was too scared to tell anybody. I was too scared to tell my mom. I really feel like one uh, that one millisecond uh, completely changed my whole life and changed who I was as a person, changed the sparkle I had and the light that I used to carry Abby shares her story over the course of two parts documentary directed by Vanessa Renee, which also includes interviews with her mother and uh, Drea Kelly. Is it Drea? I thought I thought it's Andrea. And siblings Ja Kelly and Robert Kelly Jr. and her grandparents. Okay. He's a monster, Abby's grandmother, Melissa Lee, says of R. Kelly in the first installment. There is no other word for him. He is a monster. What he has done to those kids, what he has done to our daughter, he should not live. I think putting him in jail is too easy. Okay. Kelly is currently serving time after being convicted in 2021 for the sex, uh, king and racketeering. In 2023, his initial 30-year sentence was extended to the one following his conviction on a separate child, pornography and enticement charges. The initial federal charges against R. Kelly were levied nearly in tandem with the release of the 2019 Lifetime documentary uh, series Surviving R. Kelly, which detailed decades of alleged SEXAB by the singer and featured multiple accusers. R. Kelly's karma opens with AB, uh, stating that she 100% feels like he deserves to be in jail. All I know is that uh, is what happened to me, Abby later expands in the documentary. All I know is what happened to my mom. All I know is what happened to my brother and what happened to my sister. And because of that, I feel like as a family, we know why he is in jail. According to Abby, her father meant the word meant the world to her as a child, but everything changed one night when R. Kelly was throwing a party and A.B. had decided to sleep in the office instead of her room so that she could, she could be closer to her father and the evening events. I just remember waking up to him touching me, says A.B., who said the, ex the incident occurred when she was eight or nine. I didn't know what to do, so I just kind of laid there and pretended that I was asleep. She adds, I was too scared to, to tell anybody. It was hard to even accept that it had happened. For a long time, I just tried to put it somewhere else, but it goes to a point where it was too much. It got to a point where it was too much. It was too much to not talk about. It was too much to not deal with. So I had to tell my mom. When I told her, it completely broke her heart. The documentary details how A.B. reported the abuse to her mother in 2009 when she was 
only 10 years old. According to court documents that the filmmaker obtained when uh, Kelly's divorce papers were unsealed in 2019 by the Illinois Department of Children and Family Services investigated R. Kelly for alleged uh, arresting of preteen in Jane Doe in 2009. The filing also stated that the caseworker believed that the A, B occurred because of the length of the time between the A, the A, B and Jane Doe's reporting the incident, the charges were dropped. A, B, who uh, recalls talking to various officials after coming forward to her mother about the A, B, says that it was difficult because it felt like she spoke up back then for nothing. They basically couldn't prosecute him because I had waited too long. I felt like it was a waste. I felt like I was putting my mom through so much for nothing. Kelly's attorney, Jennifer, addressed AB's allegation in a statement to people. Mr. Kelly uh, denies these allegations. His ex-wife made the same allegations years ago, and it was investigated by the Department of Children and Family Services as, and was unfounded. And the filmmakers, whoever they are, did not reach out to Mr. Kelly or his team to even allow him to deny these harmful claims. In addition to the allegations, R. Kelly's karma featured A.B. and her siblings sharing what they remember about fleeing their childhood home with their mother and how they had been uh, affected by R. Kelly's actions. I don't want to resemble him in any way, says the son, Robert Kelly Jr., Amy, who gave uh, birth to her first child over the course of filming the documentary, also gets candid about recording her duet with Kelly, a wannabe there, when she was younger. Her struggles with self-harm and her previous miscarriage, as well as more uh, hopeful notes for her family's future. Me, my brother and sister, we are going to change the narrative about the last name Kelly, says Amy. For my son, that... The name is going to be something to be proud of. It's going to be something that is uh, he is going to wear with honor. Okay, listen, you guys. I am not shocked. It's sad still. It would have been nice uh, for them to come out and say, listen, you guys, he might have done all of those things to other people. He might have done all of those things to other people's kids, but he never did it to us. It would have been nice if that had turned out to be true. But it didn't. But I still feel, and I might be wrong and insensitive, I still feel like the ex-wife knew very early the kind of man that R. Kelly was. And I don't know if it was even a good idea to have kids with this man. But after she had kids with him, she should have known that somebody that does it to other people's kids that there are possibilities that they could do it to their own so that's it and kelly deserves to be behind bars okay he deserves to be behind bars the same way that some of our r kelly's here in south africa one day will get their day but that's it, you guys. So finally, the daughter has spoken out. I haven't watched the documentary, so I don't know what the other kids say. Because it sounds like the documentary is based on what happened to the daughter. But they are talking about something happening to the other daughter and the son. So I don't know if they are also saying that he asked um, them or it was a different kind of experience uh, for them. I hope that they are, uh, it's not a matter of them being scared to come out and say Okay. Anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me in the comment section what you think about it. Like the video before, Pumegona, share it with your friends, with your family, and even with strangers in Tanda.